click for biology addressing syllabus statement 3.4.1 DNA replication. The process of DNA replication occurs during the S phase of the interphase of the cell cycle. Students will recall that when a cell divides it will produce two identical cells. If we examine the nuclei of these cells we will find in there a chromosome, a length of DNA, and in here we would find an identical DNA molecule. They are identical to the original DNA molecule here. How can this process have come about? The original DNA molecule must have been copied and separated to provide a copy for this cell and for this cell. This process is called DNA replication. In the diagram we can see the simple ladder diagram of a small section of DNA. We're going to see how this molecule replicates itself. One of the major players in this replication is an enzyme, which we'll illustrate here with a triangle. This is called DNA helicase ASC enzyme. And DNA helicase unwinds the double helix. Another important point to know is that around the DNA molecules in the nucleus there are free nucleotides. This means that there are deoxyribose sugars with bases such as adenine, thymine, guanine or cytosine and the phosphate group. And there are many of these, many adenines, thymines, guanines, cytosine nucleotides available for the DNA replication process. The process then begins with the helicase enzyme moving up through the center, the core of the DNA molecule, breaking the hydrogen bonds between the complementary base pairs. So we have hydrogen bonds are broken. In this way the DNA helicase effectively unzips this side of the molecule from this side of the molecule. We separate the two polynucleotide chains. Helicase progresses in this direction. To illustrate the process of DNA replication, we have separated these nucleotides from these nucleotides, a small section of the helix. And so in this diagram, the DNA helicase would be at this position working further up into the DNA molecule. As this occurs, the first thing that occurs is here that a free nucleotide of guanine will position itself here, so that would be G, with its associated sugar like this, and the phosphate would be here. On this side, a free nucleotide 
of cytosine would position itself here with its associated sugar and the phosphate. Over here we would have the guanine again since it's complementary to the cytosine the sugar would be here and the phosphate and so the process repeats itself over here these nucleotides are free and available in the nucleus so if we continue this process for the left hand side only opposite thiamine we would have adenine opposite guanine we would have cytosine and so the nucleotides begin to build up as the nucleotides are added here an enzyme called DNA polymerase joins the five carbon here to the three carbon here through the phosphate so we would set up a covalent bond here it would then repeat that process here five carbon to three carbon through the phosphate five carbon is here three carbon is here it will join through the phosphate like this and so the DNA polymerase enzyme begins to form the sugar phosphate backbone on the new polynucleotide building on this side here so returning to our nucleotide complementary base pairing A would complementary base pair to T here's our phosphate and of course DNA polymerase would put in the bond between the five prime carbon and the three prime carbon through the phosphate like so and finally on this side we would add another guanine here nucleotide with guanine here's its sugar here's the phosphate and of course the DNA polymerase would add the covalent bond here to complete the polynucleotide on the right hand side here. Notice that the base sequence here G G A C T G is the same as the original over here. At the same time as this side constructs the, the appropriate nucleotide would be moving into position over here This one, of course, would be guanine, complementary to cytosine. Here would be adenine with our sugar and our phosphate. And finally, cytosine here with the sugar and the phosphate. DNA polymerase is able to make the bond here, then here, then here, then here, then here, like this. In fact, DNA polymerase works in this direction on this particular strand. The If we're opening up three prime to five, this is called the leading strand. And this strand opening up five towards the three is called the lagging strand. And for technical reasons, the DNA polymerase has to work in this direction. However, at the end of the process, notice that we now have a DNA molecule on this side, which is complete with its two 
polynucleotide chains. You have a DNA molecule on this side, complete with its two polynucleotide chains, and that the molecule on this side and this side are identical. This is the process of DNA replication. It takes place during the S phase of the cell cycle.